This is a really simple effect. I figured I could show it to you in like 10 minutes. Actually, it took like 40 minutes to make this whole video. But yeah, here it is. This is a useful effect for filmmakers because there are a lot of instances where you need to overlay footage onto a prop screen or an actual television screen just for the purposes of your storyline. Whether it's a science fiction story or maybe you just want a character reacting to a newscast, but you have to put it in your own fake little newscast. So today I'm gonna show you how to overlay footage. First, get the footage you want to overlay. Next, grab the footage of your prop screen. Make sure there's no camera motion, otherwise you need to motion track, and I really don't want to motion track. Then bring the footage into After Effects. If you try this effect with a normal rectangular screen, then you might not need After Effects. Bring the footage into the timeline and adjust the start and end points of your overlay clip so that it matches the action of your other footage. I shut the sound off of my prop footage because it's just unnecessary. Now that the overlay footage is where I want it, I'll rescale it to match the size of the screen. Now for a circular screen, you'll need to use an elliptical mask. Position it accordingly and feather the edges at about 350. This will create the illusion that the image is being projected onto the inside of the screen as if it were a real scene. CRT screen. Notice how you're still seeing some of the glare on the glass? Reposition the mask so that the feathering doesn't extend beyond the screen's edge. To make it look like it's turning on, you have to animate the mask using keyframes. If you remember those old CRT screens, you used to get this big flash of light and then the image would slowly come into focus. So I duplicated the footage for the first 10 frames, brightened it as much as I could, and then had it fade out by dropping the opacity. I spent a lot of time fine-tuning this. Like 10 whole minutes. It was crazy. Now this particular prop turns off by being closed, so I had to create a second mask to prevent the image from showing through the cover. And of course that mask had to be keyframe. Lastly, you want to make the footage match the screen that's being overlaid on. That's what will really sell this effect. The mythology of this prop was that it was built in 1929, shortly after Philo Farnsworth invented the television. Which is ridiculous because Philo's first television was like the size of a dresser and had a screen about the same size as this prop. But it's a show. Anyhow, using that information and reference footage from the show, I made my footage black and white and bumped up the contrast to match. Here's the final clip. Yeah. No! Okay, hope that helps some aspiring filmmakers. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more tutorials, you can follow these links, or you can check out my vlog channel right here, or you can do whatever you want because free will. It's awesome. Later. Oh, that's hilarious. He wants to see what you got. Boofass. <laughs> oh, boofass. Hi, Pepe. Hi, Pepe. Like, oh, okay.